To fix your reverse pivot using the orange whip trainer, what we need to do is understand that a reverse pivot is caused when the upper body tilts towards the target. So what we're going to do is grab the orange whip, take your normal golf grip, and we're going to take your trail foot and turn it out. A lot of the times a reverse pivot is caused when we create a sway, also getting the upper body to lean. So the first thing we want to do is stabilize that trail hip and get it to feel like it turns behind us. From here, with our regular golf grip, we're going to remove our lead hand and we're going to use this as a guide. So I'm going to choke down because the weight of the orange whip is a little bit heavy. So you can see that my trail arm here, my right hand is at the bottom of the grip. From here, I'm going to go ahead and start to make our continuous swings with the whip. And I want to feel this trail hip pull behind me as I create that backswing. And the reason I'm allowing the lead arm to hang is that if you notice during my backswing that my upper body is getting over my trail side, showing that my upper body is loading properly and I'm not tilting back towards the target. I can see this as well because my lead hand can tap the inside of that trail foot. So I'm using this as a guide to get a feel for that as I work through that motion. And then the orange whip's really giving me the sensation here to continue to load up properly into that hip. Once we get a feel for that, we're gonna go ahead and take our regular golf grip again. And we like to do what we call here pyramid swings to where we're gonna control that chest even better. And we're gonna try to keep the chest down, put both hands on and start to make that swing. And I want you again to try to replicate where that lead hand is. So you can always use that as a checkpoint. You can see that my sternum here, my chest is pointing down towards the ground a little bit more as I'm getting a feel for that rhythm tempo balance. And then we can start to work into the continuous swings, work back to a normal stance, and really be able to feel how to load and coil in that backswing. You can see when I'm doing that, working from that progression, it's gonna be hard to tilt towards the target. We're gonna fix that reverse pivot using the whip. You can continue to do additional drills using the light speed, the power peel, and the power straps. When you get finished, time to rescreen and remeasure your improvements with the 4D sensor.